Welcome to More No Podcast. I'm your host, Josh Moore, co-founder and vice president of Field Supplements as well, sobriety, woke, business, and wellness coach. More No delivers an array of content based on marketing, health and fitness, personal branding, addiction, and often goes down the rabbit hole of conspiracy, politics, and the truth. If you seek to better understand the inner workings of human performance, consciousness, business, and humanity, you have come to the right place. Thank you for tuning in and tagging along. Let's get today's podcast started. What's up, everyone? More and no listeners. Today is a beautiful Sunday evening, episode number 34 of More in the Know. As you can see, I'm rocking my fuck big pharma shirt. We're going to get into today's podcast in a second. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you to everyone tuning in, sharing, and tagging. You mean the world to me. On this Memorial Day weekend, I felt that it was definitely necessary for me to break out of my comfort zone a little bit and to share some insight, slowly share some insight and some value and some content on my experience with number one, big pharma, as well as number two, psychoactive drugs, substances, mind altering chemicals, and things of the such. I'm not gonna give complete details in this podcast because over time I'll release more information and share with you for that. But I do respect your opinions, thoughts, and standpoints on these topics and subject matters. So all I do ask is to come from a place of understanding. And, and if you are watching this, you are somebody who has an open mind enough to hear my thoughts and my opinions and my perspective on life. And the thing about life is, is that we are all students, students of the game and, and understanding this game that we're playing and understanding the cause and the effect and the how to the why and the why to the how of what is really going on. And none of us truly know what's really going on, but I will have to say is that experience through travel, through connection with different types of relationships, through people, through being involved in sports, athletics, and business, I've been able to gain such different perspectives of each of those genres and realms of life that has given me this this standpoint of the here and the now, of where I am now. And I believe over the last few years, I have allowed myself to pry open my consciousness. From 19 years old, I had a spiritual awakening when I had four back surgeries. And those four back surgeries happened when I was a 19-year-old kid at Arizona State University striving for a dream to become an NCAA national champion All-American in the sport of wrestling. I had four back surgeries that essentially ended my career, and I was left in the space and place of unknowing, the space and place of trying to find where my identity was. And that space also that I found myself in after four back surgeries was a place that we all are familiar with, or we know somebody who's familiar with this place. It's called Big Pharma. That's the pharmaceutical industry. And Long story short, I found myself in a very, very bad relationship with pharmaceuticals. And as you can see, you can see my standpoint on the pharmaceutical industry. And as I was a sheep in the pharmaceutical industry, what they wanted to do was they wanted to fill me and pump me up with pharmaceuticals. And to this day, if I wanted to continue on and continue to receive pharmaceuticals in the form of painkillers and muscle relaxers from Big Pharma, I would be allowed to because of my condition. I've had four back surgeries, two, two elbow dislocations, two right knee major, two right knee major surgeries, my right knee, as well as a various... A, torn UCL, you name it, I've been injured, I've been hurt, my neck's messed up, I have, I, have, I have chronic pain, and of course, if I wanted to go to Western medicine and, and through the pharmaceutical industry, they would be more than glad to prescribe me pharmaceutical drugs, opioids, painkillers, muscle relaxers to put a Band-Aid on this pain. And what I wanted to talk about in this podcast, because I am no longer using any sort of substances, such as marijuana, psilocybin, psychoactive drugs. I'm, I'm not using anything anymore. I'm not putting alcohol into my body. I'm not doing anything. So I feel now that I'm in a space and a place that is absolutely clear, unbiased, conscious, and able to articulate my standpoint and my viewpoint in a way that allows you to be able to gain a larger perspective on life and on these topics because that's what life is. You don't have to agree with me on everything that I say, but I do ask for you to have an open mind because a closed mind is the most expensive thing that you can have as a person. And a closed mind is ego-driven. So let's get into the topics of marijuana, psychoactives, and what I feel about that topic. First and foremost, I do believe that there has been major propaganda driven through news industry, driven through government over the last 60 some odd years starting in the 60s and 50s and talking about marijuana cigarettes is essentially the devil's lettuce. Marijuana cigarettes will make white women 
be with black men, and so on and so forth. The propaganda is absolutely out of this world. So the fact of the matter is that now that marijuana has been legally studied because it has been decriminalized in some states, not federally but statewide, there has been many, many studies that have shown marijuana having major health benefits and being in, used in a medicinal way. I no longer use medicinal marijuana, and that's okay for my chronic pain. I've completely let go of having to use any sort of substance in my body for combating chronic pain. I am now entering meditation. I am now using breathing techniques. And I'm now using myself and in, in, in my spiritual realm to heal my body from the inside out. But I know there's a lot of people out there with anxiety, a lot of people out there with mu muscle pain. And I know there's a lot of people out there who are struggling with an array of topics that can be cured with the use of marijuana. And I do believe that marijuana, there's two things when it comes to marijuana, psychedelics, anything that is psychoactive, there's two things that these medicines that have been around for long before you and I came about that have been rooted th from the natives, have been grown medicinally, that there has been so much that has been given to us that through the years, these medicines have been prop propagandized if that's the word, I hope I'm saying that right, but it has been been through propaganda that these materials or that these medicines are bad for us, that they're that we should not use them. And that's not typically the case. If you look at the facts, you look at the research, you look at the studies, these materials can be used in medicinal settings as well as have been around for, for hundreds of years, thousands of years in medicinal settings. Although I do not use marijuana anymore, psychoactive drugs, substances, mescaline, DMT, psilocybin, I do believe that there is a purpose and, and, and definitely a use for these substances in a setting that is positive. I believe that psychoactives, marijuana, and these medicines can either be used in two different ways. They can be used as toys or they can be used as tools. Most of the society uses them as toys because if you go, and that's what you've been seeing is, oh, these drug users, these pot smokers, these, these hippies, these rave these ravers these festival goers and, and you look at these people who are using these psychoactives who are using these medicines as toys and that's absolutely the case there's 100 percent a po large population of people that are using these things as toys but there's also a lot of people who could benefit from using these substances in a medicinal way as a tool not only as a tool for chronic pain but a tool for ptsd a tool for ego death essentially what happens is is when you smoke marijuana or you do psilocybin or you do something that's psychoactive what happens is this you begin to question. You begin to question everything. The synapses in the brain fires and wires in a different way, and it begins to change your perspective. It begins to allow you to step out of the brainwashing and the control that you've been in from media, through government, through everything that we take in in our daily lives that wants to brainwash us to be robots, brainwash us to be puppets, be sheep of the system. And when you take these medicines what allows you to do is question question and ask and question everything and allows you to have a different perspective because simply what will happen then is you will start to step in a new wave of consciousness allow yourself to break through the transmutational energy scale and raise your vibration and raise your consciousness and allow information to flow easily and effortlessly to you but over the years, what's happened is, is through propaganda, through media, through everything that you see, you see is that they're bad, they're horrible. Why? And ask why. Why would, why would something that would alter the mind in a way that could potentially be positive to allow you to think for yourself, allow you to gain new perspective, to, to be someone who's a critical thinker and step into this critical thinking space, why would that be bad? Well, I'll tell you why. Because people who are critical thinkers, people who think for themselves, people who do, who can and will not be controlled are dangerous. They're dangerous. They're dangerous to the system. The system through big pharma, the pharmaceutical industry. They're dangerous to the governments that want us to be sheep and be puppets that have a complete agenda and their new world order to control us as human beings. They want to control us because 
we are unconscious. And then when the second that you become conscious and are aware of what's actually going on, this isn't fucking conspiracy. This is truth. The truth is out there and the truth will set you free once you allow yourself to step out of the fucking brainwashing that has been happening your entire life through media, through what he said or she said, or this is what the government said. They don't know because they ha have an agenda of what they want you to know. It's time for you to be a critical thinker and step into the space in this place that is allowing you to have new perspective, introspective of who you are as a person as well as your position in this world. Now, I'm not sitting here and saying that you should, and I'm not promoting marijuana. I'm not promoting psilocybin or psychedelics. I'm not promoting these substances. I'm not doing that at all. What I'm saying is, as I do believe that there is a place that if you do them correctly in a setting that will actually allow you to gain new perspective of life, question things, and fire and wire new synapses in the brain. These psychoactive chemicals actually have been shown cognitively to be able to cure PTSD, death of the ego, reduce anxiety, allow you to be in a new place of where you're, you're happy, where you gain this new perspective of maybe you, you, this loss of fear of death if you're a terminal ill cancer patient or somebody who has terminal disease and allows you to be able to understand that there's so much more to life. And that's what has been my experience when I've taken these substances is that I have gained such great perspective on life and great perspective on the unknowing. And I don't know it all, but I've been introduced to things that has allowed me to gain a, such a broader horizon and broader perspective of what this life really means. And I'm grateful for those experiences because I was talking about this the other day is that I'm not certain if I did not have the past that I've had and the experiences that I've had with these tools and these medicines and these substances, I'm not quite certain that if, if I would be in the same conscious space that I am in now. I truly believe that they allowed for this for the 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 psycho the psychochemical pathway that has allowed me to arrive here. And the answer to a, to complete enlightenment or the answer to take myself from that space and raise myself through the transmutational energy scale was sobriety. And that's what was crazy about it is those substances allowed me to question. Those substances allowed me to have new perspective. They really cultivated my thinking, my being, my awareness, who I was around, what I was doing, what I was reading, what I was interested in. And now being four, close to 14 months sober, sobriety was that missing link from that space where I was on the verge of conscious breakthrough and on the verge of this, of this spiritual awakening. And sobriety was it because sobriety was the was the icing on the top and the cherry on the top that gave me that neurochemical pathway to connect the missing links and it's crazy how it all worked out and i'll get into more of my experiences in, in later podcasts but for today i'm going to keep it short and sweet and to the point saying is that these substances when used correctly in a space there's been clinical studies and research I mean, let's talk about Terrence McKenna. Let's talk about there's studies which made by John Hopkins and Graham Hancock and all these phenomenal people who have been able to look at these substances and look at these things objectively, study them in an objective manner, and be able to see, well, whoa, what are they doing? What's happening? What's going on? Now, like I said, I'm not promoting these things, and I'm saying that, they, that I no longer do them myself. I no longer smoke marijuana. I'm no longer doing anything that is psychoactive to my brain. What I can say is that they served, a, they served a time and they served a purpose in my life to really allow myself to break through consciously. They allowed myself to, to be able to understand that there is so much more than the here and now. The world of metaphysics is, is a phenomenal place. It's a crazy place and a place that you literally cannot comprehend because the more that you know, the more that you don't know. The more that you've been shown, the more that you know, you don't know what the fuck is going on. And that's the beauty of life is the more that you become awake, the more that you become conscious and knowing in the state, the state of acceptance is the more that you say, well, you know, 
I'm no longer this mind-body connection. I'm simply consciousness floating through space and this flesh vehicle and this meat suit, essentially. And I'm driven by this all-knowing space of consciousness connected to the fourth dimension. And when you can connect to that space of, of connectivity, whether you call it God, source, Allah, the universe, whenever you're flowing through that space and you're in that space of flow, man, it, life is effortless. You are in ease. You, there is no disease. You're in ease. And you're allowing yourself to gain a broadened perspective of life. And when you're allowing yourself to do this, you raise your transmutational energy. You begin to raise your vibration. And with that comes complete enlightenment. And I'm not saying that I'm there because I'm far from there. But I know as I'm in a space of understanding, of objectivity, I'm of, of linear and in love. And that's where I'm at now in the here and now. And through my meditation and through life, I, I plan on and, and – because that's also a part of, of the ego saying that there's still growth to be made. Once you get to this I am space, this this state of nothing, this state of just complete all but nothing, everything but nothing at the same time, that's essentially enlightenment. We're talking Gandhi, Buddha, Jesus, Christ. Where we're talking all these great these these leaders and these people who have been before us, these enlightened leaders, and they have shown us and given us the pathway. And I truly believe when you trace back the steps of all of it, you trace back it all, it can and will be beneficial if you allow yourself. And if you have experienced psychoactives and you have experienced and used marijuana or psilocybin or mescaline or DMT, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, I understand that there's some hesitation. I understand that you may or may not be scared because of the propaganda that has been put forth from media but understand that media and the government and what they're saying does not always have your best interest in mind almost that it's opposite and you should want to question everything and do your own research and look into these things and maybe it's not a space and a place for you to experience something of the sort but maybe your research and your understanding of it will give you that connectivity and that pathway to better understand what the fuck is going on so then you can begin to understand the big picture where when i say things like fuck big pharma you know what i mean instead of being in a defensive way we'll say well, well i know somebody in the pharmaceutical industry and western medicine is great medicine Okay, yes and no. There's lots of great and there are some bad and lots of bad because big pharma creates patients. They create customers. They create customers on auto shipment. Auto shipment customers where each month you go to the pharmaceutical you go to the pharmacy and you get exactly what you need and a lot of the medicines that are being given and a lot of pharmaceutical pills and prescriptions that are being prescribed are unnecessary and can be healed by ancient medicine and these plants. So that is my take on the pharmaceutical industry, marijuana, psychoactives, psilocybin, and much more. Thank you for tuning in. This was an awesome episode of More in the Know, number 34. Only a few left for a 30 for 30. I'm going to be doing these every single day. And who knows, after the 30 days, I'm just going to keep on rocking and rolling, baby. I appreciate you guys tuning in and taking along. To stay more in the know on Instagram, check out more in the know. That's M-O-R-I-N-T-H-E-K-N-O-W or more in the know.org to ask, access all this information, my blogs, and so much more. Behind me, the highest quality products on the market, top of the line manufacturing procedures, best raw ingredients, and some of the absolute highest quality ingredient profiles. Fueled supplements. Check us out, fueledsupplements.com. We are running a sale right now, fueled. Memorial Day weekend sale as we remember all those who have fallen for the great country, the, the, the greatest country in the world, the United States, as we make America great again. You can make your muscles great again after this quarantine by going to fieldsupplements.com and applying code REREMEMBER for 25% off your Field Supplements purchase. Thank you, guys. You have a beautiful evening.